Uh, talk about recycling. This it's, is a recycled it's 100% house. 100% recycled this house. It's like behind the scenes. Wow. It has good vibes to it. So you had a little clawfoot tub under the house. I always wonder what the inside of these homes look like. These amazing Victorian homes, but even some like smaller ones, like this one. I really wish I knew what it was like on the inside. Is it just me or is it a Galveston thing that if someone comes and compliments your house, you immediately say, oh yeah, come on in, check it out. On 19th Street in between Avenue L and Avenue M. Of course, I'm interested in like the big extravagant Victorian homes, but there's something about these I just got to check out. Let's take a look. We're going to do a little home tour today. Hello. Hello. Can we tour your house? Yes, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Hello, Barbara. Hello, welcome to the Galveston Speakeasy Cottage. Let's check it out. This is an 1890s house. It was built originally as a tenant house for somebody who worked at the port. So it's a now it is a two bedroom, two bathroom house. It was a one one. But what is interesting about this house more than anything else are the walls. They are remnants of the fire from 18... 85, 85 right? houses that burned down. Gigantic fire in 1885 that destroyed over 500 homes, over 40 city blocks. And so all of the walls are different colors and different sizes. Four inch, five inch, beadboard, shiplap. It's all different kinds of wood on all of the walls and some of the ceilings as well. Yeah. And those were all just, you know, they just kind of gathered it all together to make a house. So when we bought the house in 2018, it was just studs. The walls were here, obviously, but it was just studs. And then we took the time to restore it and here it is. Over here was a hallway that went from the front of the house to the back. And what we did was we closed off the hallway to make this bathroom available for this bedroom. It's a nice <laughs> full bath and including perhaps one of the fun things is we found this map of Galveston and here we are right there. One of the bird's eye view maps. Yes. I love it. There you go. You can see where Lost yeah, Bayou was right at one point. <laughs> this is why we call it the Lost Bayou District. Right, and there's the Lost Bayou. The Lost Bayou District is named Lost Bayou because Hitchcock's Bayou was filled in between the beach and Broadway. So this is the living room, which is a really nice size. And again, all of these walls, again, the, the colors and the, uh, the styles. Now this is stunning. Wow. It's a very comfortable house. It has good vibes to it. One of the modern things was we made a kitchen. The kitchen actually was in the back uh -huh. and this was the dining room, but we created the kitchen here. So these are the only really new things in the house. The refrigerator, the stove, the dishwasher, the microwave, those are new. Everything else was not. This um, island from some of the wood that was left over when we were doing some of the restoration. You know, talk about recycling. This it's, is a recycled house. It's a 100% house. recycled this house, This is literally. a recycled house. <laughs> thanks to friends who were downsizing, moving, um, thanks to estate sales, a garage sales, everything here has a history, except for those appliances. This over here probably was um, a porch. Uh -huh. And we could tell by the blue ceiling. Ah, the hanked blue, right? right? And so there in we go. here, this is where that hallway came through. And ah, so we, the bathroom is on the other side of the yeah, wall. Yeah, so we, this is what we closed off. We didn't feel there was a need for a hallway in a house this small. Yeah. And then in the back oh. here, which had been the kitchen, now it is a second bedroom. So was this originally all built as one building or is it? Yes. Multiple? Okay, gotcha. It was all one building. And so these are all the original green walls. Someone had told us that the reason there's so much green is that was the color of the primer. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so okay. that's why there's so much green. So we had the closets built in and the, and the little seat built in. 
give it a little oh, that's bit. that's nice. And this bedroom also has its own bathroom here, which is a little bit more modern. I know that's where the original bathroom was because of the glazed window in the back. How tall are the ceilings? 13 feet. 13 feet. Yeah. Wow. The attic, which is really large, is now completely an air conditioning system. It took over. And in here we have utilities, you know, the washer dryers in here for our guests to use or me to use when I clean. <laughs> yeah. But here is the other bathroom. And then we put um, a stairway here, fix the back deck so there's another um, way out of the house. Yeah, I gotta have that secondary egress, right? That's right. <laughs> and perhaps one of the more interesting things is out here. Here we go. So we, this, first of all, this yard was a mess. We didn't even know there was a patio because it was under so much debris. But all of the wood that's used to make these patios came from the piles under the house that we replaced. Oh, so they're all yeah. from the 1800s as well. The cypress wood, I guess. Yeah, gotcha. And so we were able to utilize them to make a garden. What a beautiful garden, Barbara. Oh, why, thank you. There's a nice outdoor area. That bathtub came from down below here. We just put it as part of the garden. It was just under the house? Well, this was well, an apartment. Oh, so you had a, a little clawfoot tub under the house in yes. the apartment. Yeah, and so we removed it. It is heavy. We removed it and just filled it with beautiful plants. And that's the speakeasy. And you should note, the reason we call it the speakeasy is because of that little peekaboo door. That was the original door of the house. I love that. There must have been something going on in this house, right? There Who must knows? have been. <laughs> um, but there's no password required here. <laughs> well, so. Barbara, this is amazing. Well, thank you. So uh, let me ask, while doing any research on the house, were you able to find any historical facts that stuck out to you? Well, the, probably the most interesting is Julius Lobenstein, who was the builder, lived there. And, and this was his rent property. Uh -huh. And that's the irony is because I live there <laughs> and this is my rent property. Yeah, so great. that was the only thing, uh, you know, the Lobensteins lived here probably until the 1940s, uh -huh. from the 1800s until the 1940s, yeah. a member of the family. We did the research, worked with the Texas Historical Commission and did the research here. Um, Jamie Durham did some research also from the Galveston Historical Foundation. So, you know, it's not a house with um, a deep, rich history, but it's an interesting it's house. It's very interesting. I it's love that. It's an interesting house because of the walls. If these walls could talk. <laughs> you think about it, how many different houses did the walls come from? I mean, uh, hundreds uh, possibly, right? And the thing is, those houses were from 1850, 1860, yeah. 1870, yeah. because by 1885, they had all burned down. So those are really old walls. Yeah. Thanks for the tour, because I think people always wonder what's inside some of these homes. And, you know, you, when you think of like Victorian homes, you think of these big, giant, extravagant, fine exactly. things. And you never really think about homes that were built out of found wood after major disasters like fires and hurricanes. And this was really here as a rental. Yeah. For people that worked at the port, probably. It just has a different history. I love it. Me too. Well, thanks, Barbara. And I thank you. It. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. All right. Cut.